Well, hi everyone. I'm taking advantage of this beautiful day uh, out in the, the wide open backyard to uh, uh, just uh, share with you a little bit uh, and uh, I want to share a memory with you here uh, shortly. But uh, Before I uh, share that with you, I want to invite you to uh, uh, something. Uh, in your email today, you should be receiving uh, my weekly letter. I encourage you to take a look at that. In there, there is an invitation to a, a Sunday kitchen party, uh, sort of like what we did in the past. I uh, figure where we're in orange now and uh, perhaps you're a bit more cooped up than you normally are. Let's have a, uh, a kitchen party after the worship service this Sunday. So I invite you to be part of that. It'll be done through Zoom. Uh, what will take place is it will start uh, 15 minutes following uh, the worship service. So 15 minutes after the worship service concludes, I'll begin that, uh, that Zoom get together. So the login details are there in your email today. I want you to take a look at that and uh, would love for you to come uh, join us. Uh, let's join together uh, to check in with one another and encourage each other. Well, here's a, a Christmas memory for you. It's a story that I love to tell and I uh, hope you're having a great day. Uh, God bless you this day. And as we are celebrating, we are celebrating the coming of the real God into real life with real people so that he can and does and will save us. People just like us. And think about it. It happened long ago. 2,000 odd years ago. Yet the Lord is still saving people. That Jesus Christ is still coming into the lives of people and saving them. It is real. It's not a, it's not a misty feeling. It's not simply a, a season, but it is something that is real. And we're celebrating the real one who came to rescue us. So the Lord has made a call upon us. He has called us to a personal encounter with himself. Personal faith in Jesus Christ. And I'm glad we, we talked about it a bit in our Sunday school class this morning. In that we were talking about real relationship with Jesus Christ. And we were sort of contrasting that against oh, that word that gets thrown around sometimes, religion. We are called to be people who enter into a real relationship with a real Savior, with God, with us, Emmanuel. You will call his name Jesus. Why was he supposed to call his name Jesus? Because he saves his people from their sin. Only Jesus Christ can save us. And so... I want to frame it in a, in a, in a sense in a, within a story. Because you see, there was a fellow one time who was walking along and he fell in a hole. And he tried and he tried and he tried and he couldn't get out of the hole. And so as he's there in the hole, a poet walks by and notices this man is in the hole. And so he shouts up to the poet, hey, can you help me get up out of this hole? So the poet whips out a piece of paper and he starts to write. And he writes and he writes and he writes. And he writes a beautiful sonnet. And he throws it down to the man in the hole and the man opens it up and says, this is a poem, ode to a man in a deep dark hole. And the poet walks away. Well, then a preacher comes by. And he shouts up to the preacher, hey, can you help me get out of this hole? And the preacher ponders for a moment. And he pulls his pen out of his pocket, as preachers are prone to do. See, look, I got one right here. And he gets out a piece of paper and he starts to write out a prayer. He folds it up and he drops it down into the man in the hole. And the prayer is titled, A Prayer for Men stuck in holes and he walks away the man is still stuck in the hole and a politician walks by 
And he shouts up to him, hey, can you help me get out of this hole? And the politician starts to, well, he takes out his piece of paper and he starts to write a speech. And it's titled, Due to the Lack of Fiscal Responsibility Over the number, Last Number of Years, There Has Been Crumbling Infrastructure That Has Led to Devastating Holes. <laughs> and he folds it up and he drops it down into the man and he opens it up and it's of no help to him. But then a friend comes by. And he's so excited. Hey! Hey, Joe, it's me, Bob. I'm stuck down here in this hole. I can't get out. And what does Joe do? He jumps in the hole. And Bob grabs his friend Joe by the shoulders and says, what did you do that for? Now we're both stuck in this hole. But Joe looks at him looks him square in the eye and he says, oh, no, we're not stuck. I know the way out. Follow me. Jesus has jumped down into our hole. He has come from heaven to earth. He is God with us. And he has come to save this is something that is personal. This is something that is real. He is not someone that's writing us a letter and sending it down to us into our hole. He has jumped down into our hole so that he can save us and says to us, he says to us, follow me. I know the way. Jesus said it best. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me.